free illustrations for scientific publications. Happy New Year, everybody. I am really excited to tell you this new library released by the NIH, National Institute of Health in the US. They have thousands of professional illustrations in this library where you can download for free. 100% open source. That means you don't need to worry about copyright infringement when you use them in your publications, educational materials, even commercial products. Isn't that amazing? It is not amazing for me as a scientific illustrator because that means I get less clients. Not really. I actually had done a few consultations already this year. I do think this database is awesome for these early career scientists because they don't have the budget to hire a scientific illustrator. Because of a database like this, I'm able to help these scientists without charging them too much. It is a win-win for everybody. That's why I'm sharing this information with you instead of trying to keep it away from you. So I'm going to give you a walkthrough of this database base and show you how to use these illustrations. I would really appreciate if you can give me a like and subscribe to the channel and share the video with people who can be helped by these information. Okay, now let's get into the database. The name of the database is BioArt Source. You build figures, presentation, and illustrations with more than 2000 science and medical art visuals. You can have access to it by typing in this web address or simply Google bio art source and it should show up as the first search result. As you scroll down, you can see all the categories of illustrations. There are many of them, lab equipment, proteins, animals, and people. I had my consultation with a client a few days ago and she was really happy with the Empendrove. She really needed an Empendrove illustration for her graphic abstract. And you can very quickly find the illustration here for free. They have a search bar. So instead of clicking through and scrolling through the categories, you can simply search the illustration you want right here. For example, you type Empendrove and you can find your illustration in a search result. Let's search for another one, for example, cell. Then you can get the search result of all kinds of cells. Isn't that amazing? You can filter them with the control panel on the left. For example, license. If you search public domain, you are sure these illustrations are all for free and you don't need to worry about copyrights. So you guys can play around with these filters and find the best combination for your image search. And now let's download one of the illustrations. So you can click into the illustration. You can click on the download sign on the upper right of the illustration. I usually download all because we will have four different file types. Go find the zip file in your download location. You can extract all. And in the extracted folder, you will find four files. One is Adobe Illustrator file. Another one is encapsulated postscript and then PNG file and scalable vector graphics. If you have Adobe Illustrator, you can go on and open the Adobe Illustrator file. It is quite straightforward. In the file, you will find an editable vector graphic. You can edit this green background and change it into a different color, for example, blue. You can also edit other parts of the illustration. I can isolate the outline or move the nucleus around. If you need some modification to add your new findings on these illustration, you can go ahead and do them. These open source illustrations from BioArt. But if you don't have Adobe Illustrator, you can download the free software called Inkscape. It can open the scalable vector graphics. This software is 100% free. You only need to go to their website and download it and install it. Just search Inkscape and you can get there. I have a video explaining how to download. You can check them out in the link in the description. In Inkscape, you can find these illustrations just like in Adobe Illustrator. You can ungroup the different parts of the illustration and edit them as you wish. What if you don't want to edit the illustration and simply want to use it in PowerPoint? You can then use the PNG file, drag and drop it in PowerPoint, and there you go. 
you can start adding the t-cell into your powerpoint slides i hope this video is helpful for your research if you have more questions you can leave them in the comments or book a consultation with me i'm really happy to be posting video again i haven't uploaded for a long time i was taking a break from youtube and rethink about all my content I'm really happy that I am back and I get to see you guys again. There will be more video coming up. Let's stay in touch and I'll see you in the next video.